week 37 as of tomorrow. <sighs> Let me show you how I get out of bed. I move really slow nowadays. Okay. That's it. <laughs> That's my day to day. Happy 36 weeks to me, myself, and I. We are less than a month away from the due date and I am starting to get a little worried because I am very unprepared. If any of you have toddlers, you know that they can go through about $100 worth of snacks in five minutes. So I've been trying to prepare and buy a lot of stuff. My house is super messy. I'm also still <laughs> wrapping up work and so things are just crazy. I assume the next two weeks are going to fly by. Up until about two weeks ago. Wait, come on, come on. I was doing about 10K, my goal was 10K steps a day. Just trying to be a little bit healthier. Um, I usually gain quite a bit of weight and so my current, my new AOB has been watching my weight pretty closely. It hasn't been the funnest. I can barely make it to the mailbox <laughs> these days. So we are headed seeing how far I can go. Um, I got my little buddy with me. He doesn't want to get in a stroller, so hopefully I can keep up with this guy. <laughs> I'm actually putting together the bassinet. I was gonna have my husband build it, um, but he's been busy at the hospital working, uh, so I figured, you know what, I can do this myself. Yay, I did it. Perfect. My energy for errands has decreased by one million thousand percent. That feels a little dramatic, but it's true. And I am just so tired all the time. It's like pregnancy induced anxiety that I have about going everywhere because I'm like what if my water breaks while I'm there and it's like this huge movie moment I'll let you know if it happens okay so I am sterilizing the bottles have some drying over here um, in the pacifiers just trying to get things ready I um, do plan to breastfeed but sometimes it doesn't go as planned at least not initially um, with my second kid, his glucose was low, so I ended up having to bottle feed him a little bit. But fortunately, we were able to make the transition um, to fully breastfeeding. Um, so hopefully, we can just jump straight to breastfeeding this time. Good morning. This is how I start my Monday through Fridays. I wake up before, usually before my kids. My five-year-old is up with me, and I get my... 30 minute workout in and then I get them ready to go off to school. So we are going to work out. We decided to choose a birthing center um, primarily because um, I natural alternatives are really important to me. So I don't take any medications. Normally I just use essential oils or tough it out or stretch or drink water like I try to use um, non-medical alternatives to um, Like solving pain and stuff like that not to say I never use it just to say that it's very 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 rare And this brush is in the best oh my God, it Biggest recommendations from your dental health providers is especially for pregnant women and women who are breastfeeding is to get your teeth cleaned at least every three to four months because of your hormone levels. Do not wait until after your pregnancy because you're not even gonna have time after that either. Next thing you know, it'll be a year or two since your last cleaning. So get your teeth done so that you and baby can be healthy. I try to keep things pretty healthy for breakfast. I am... Um having some yogurt with strawberries and raspberries and some dates. My food aversions come back pretty strongly in the third trimester where I don't really want anything like super heavy. I eat a lot of like just um, like fruits and stuff like that. 
Um, and yeah, one minute, buddy, okay? There is some evidence that dates can help in labor and help soften your cervix and things like that. And as you can see, my bowls are like chipped. Hashtag mom life, you know, not the perfect person here. We've got lots of uh, <laughs> chips and messes, so. I am waiting in the car for my 36 week OB appointment. I'm hoping that she's gonna tell me if I've started dilating or not. I've had a um, Braxton Hicks, so. I don't know if it means anything, probably not. But something is going on. We will see how it goes. So I was walking past the mirror and then I had to do like a double take because I was like, wow, I am really pregnant. <laughs> hey, so I'm here waiting to see the doctor. I got my little fancy sheet. Most women know what that is. <laughs> So I'm hoping for the best. Here you can see baby eyeball right here. Mm -hmm. Nose is sticking up right there. That's an arm coming across. So the head's coming down into the pelvis. I have struggled a lot with my image and my new body. And um, I can appreciate for sure the fact that like pregnancy as an idea and a concept is amazing. I just am not used to my body um, being this size and that's okay because it's not gonna be like this forever, right? I can appreciate what my body is doing for my daughter while still feeling insecure about how that looks. So that's just where I'm at. It's getting really, really hard to work. I forgot my belly band, so She's heavy. She's really heavy. Not gonna lie, feels so surreal and I hit a milestone I feel like for myself, just being able to like let go of having that control of like, okay, I can't work anymore. Um, even until like all day today, I kept telling myself, maybe I can do one, one more week of work. And every time I get up, I'm reminded that, no, I'm done. I can't. <laughs> Even just looking at my ankles, it's, it's crazy. You can definitely feel the pressure. Ugh. I need to go home and rest now. So I got an interesting text message last night from <clears throat> another midwife at my birthing center, basically saying that my midwife is out of town for the weekend and doesn't have any cell service, so that if I did happen to go into labor, that I needed to contact this new midwife. Um, I just would feel more comfortable if both of the midwives were there attending my birth versus just the one that I don't know. We'll just play it by ear, I guess, but yeah, at this point, hopefully he stays in a little bit longer. <laughs> Typically at night, the main thing I do to prevent stretch marks is I will put a little bit of lavender lotion in my hands. Ooh. And then I will put two drops of frankincense oil and two drops of lavender oil and uh just to be totally honest with you guys i'm normally naked while i'm doing this so i have a lot more <laughs> a lot less on my way when i'm doing it i finally packed my bag so i've got my snacks in here i've got my toiletries my robe we are um, going to be doing um cord blood registration so this is somehow going to fit in there um, i've got lots of socks um, in there, slippers. I like to deliver in superhero socks. So this superhero socks for this time is super girl, Superman. Last time I did Wonder Woman. Yeah, so I'm feeling relieved all, that I'm all packed. Um, I just need to add in my devices. I really should be working, but we just set up our chest freezer outside, like a deep freezer. And though my husband cooks and is great, I also want to just have like quick options that I can throw in like a week or two after birth. Um, so I've got all of my bags labeled with the things that I'm going to be making. I have a bunch of different meals 
and I'm just going to prep it all and then freeze it so that when the time comes and I want to quickly throw in a dinner, I can do so and put it in my Instant Pot. So I was just informed by my company that I will not have a job to come back to after I come back from maternity leave. So that's a solid bummer. I mean, am I a little terrified of not having a job right after I have a newborn? Sure. Sure, because the job, <laughs> having a job with a newborn sounded nice. It sounded a little more stable, maybe. In my head, I'm just thinking, you know, there's got to be something better because I don't think that hard things happen for absolutely no reason. I think that I have a better opportunity coming. I'm having lots of contractions. This time I am recording it digitally. I am not sure if they're Braxton Hicks again, if it's false or if it's real. They hurt really bad. So I'm thinking I'll wait it out a little bit longer um, and then decide. My husband's asleep back there, as you can see. So, long night ahead. All right, so my doctor says to go in and get checked out. That's the only way we're gonna know if I already started the labor process. So I'm getting my things ready, about to head out. It's been already a crazy dramatic morning for me. John's still trying to figure out the car seat. Don't be like us. Sorry, I have like snot because I was crying earlier, but we'll see, we'll see what the doctor says.